In this video, we are going to be seeing if we can reduce the weight of my Redcat RDS drift car a little bit more by the use of titanium screws. Using a whole assortment here from iFlight and Yeah Racing, replacing the screws that came with the kit with these, how much weight does that save us? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. You'll tend to find me crawling or bashing or drifting or racing, plus doing product review videos and how to's. We're going to get this started by getting the body off and doing a baseline weight check to see how heavy is it as it sits. Scales are all zeroed out and again with the body off and no battery. Just to get an idea, we are at 992 grams, 3070 weight distribution. That's going to be our bogey to see how much can we take that 992 down. When doing this, the good news is Redcat actually makes it fairly easy on us because vast majority of the screws that are in this vehicle are M3 by 8. I was able to find some of them from Yeah Racing. Uh, iFlight also offers M3 by 8 screws. Uh, I got some M3 by 6. And then I got some of these, um, I don't remember what they are, unlabeled. <laughs> unlabeled a little bit longer so maybe they're the 10 by 10 by 12. you might be familiar with yeah racing if you're already in the drift world they make lots of drift parts and they are a good source for cheaper titanium screws iFlight is a drone company so very uh, respected drone company and known for of course being interested in making things light that won't do absolutely everything on the car but it's going to do a lot of it so let's get started let's start swapping out some of these that we have here having done this on other cars i find it very helpful to have some of these magnetic trays out and to sort some of the screws by the size that you're using uh, it will be it'll come a lot in handy as you're taking screws out of the car to make sure that you can match them up and you want to keep everything nice and organized of course the ones that you're getting rid of uh, you can put them into just a mixed bin wherever uh, but hey sometimes it's nice to hang on to the screws you're taking out in case you ever need a spare of course the process here is actually pretty simple i just take a screw out match it up to the screws that i have and put the new one in repeat for everything that you can get your hands on it's up to you then as to how much you want to take the car apart you actually want to take as an example the transmission apart in order to get to the screws that are in the differential itself or probably like me are you going to hit most of the screws that are easy to come by All right, moment of truth, all of those titanium screws are in there. Where are we at now? 981. With all this done, we didn't really save that much weight. And I'm kind of surprised because I did this same thing with my Sakura D5 and I actually dropped a noticeable amount of weight. I was trying to think it was like 30 or 40 grams off of that Sakura by changing all of those parts over to titanium, all those screws. And here we lost 10. 10 out of a thousand grams is 1%-ish or so? Hmm. That probably wasn't worth the cost, if I'm honest. If you are really into competition and you want to save every specific ounce that you can get, every everything that you can find, got it. That kind of makes sense. Like you're going to end up eventually putting these titanium screws in to save the 10 grams. Mm, but I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> I could do it. And I, I probably spent too much money on it because I was buying them in these like 
five pack screw kits. Whereas when I did this before for my Sakura, I was able to find a Yacht Racing total titanium kit for like some random obscure chassis that just happened to have a lot of the right screw sizes. And that seemed to really drop a lot more weight. So 10 grams, I'm gonna take the 10 grams or just around there. I'm gonna take that amount, 10, 12, and I'm gonna be happy with it. It's better than if I didn't have it but it's not as much as I was hoping for. So more to come on this car. We still need to get a little bit more weight out of it. Next steps for this car as it sits right now is that we're gonna end up having to swap out the springs because not only have we put a different body, we've got all the titanium screws in it, we've moved some parts around, we made it the rear motor. The weight is different on this vehicle, the weight shift total, and the front suspension now is way too stiff. And so we're gonna need to rebuild that with some different springs, maybe some different oil in there balance it out for the weight that it has to hold now which is something that you should always be working on with your car also so i'm going to be digging into my parts bin looking at what kind of springs i have and seeing what would fit well for this vehicle so if you're interested in that come over check out my rds playlist and that video will pop up there so stay subscribed and you will see it later so thank you and we'll talk to you later goodbye